To start off, you will need to only have one of the items you wish to duplicate. If you have more than one in your inventory, you can throw up to 20 items on the ground, and even more with a glitch I'll cover on the second part of this video. Once you have the single item in your inventory, find a moderate sized ledge, it can't be too small or too big, and I find the ledge in Lookout Landing is the perfect size for it. Once on top of the ledge, hold the item by pressing and holding R, and selecting it in the inventory. Now, face the opposite way to the ledge, jump back and press up on the d-pad. Now close and open up the item menu again. You will now see that Link's hand has moved slightly. While you're on this pause menu, it's important that you release holding the R button. Now drop the menu and open it up again. This time you're able to drop the selected item by pressing X, so do that and drop the menu for the final time. If timed properly, an item will drop to the ground while you also throw one when you hit the ground. If it doesn't work for you, it's most likely you did it up too high, as you need to be on the ground when throwing this item for it to work. As mentioned earlier, if you want to duplicate items that you have 20 plus of, you can actually use Zonai dispensers to store item entities which aren't counted in the world. The way it works is by stuffing up two fans glued together, or any other Zonai device for that matter, you can jam the machine so instead of the items normally just being spat back out, they remain inside the machine and are not counted towards the 20 item limit. So theoretically you can duplicate any item to 999, but it may take a while. To get this set up properly, glue two fans together like this and place it near the entrance of the dispenser. Now just chuck any item in to open the flap up, as the fans are near the entrance it will remain open, so now we can jam it up using the fans. To do this all you need to do is ultra hand the fans, place it inside the machine and rotate it so it fits nice and snug. Once it's jammed, all we will have to do is chuck in all the items we are duplicating in until we just have one left. You'll see that no items are coming out of the machine, but as soon as we move the fans away, we'll be able to collect all the items again. The machine that I use is the one in Tarrytown, as right next to the capsule dispenser is a ledge which is the perfect height to perform this glitch. Duplicating this way could take a while, but if you're willing to spend some time on it, you can get as many of the items as you want, and if you only want to duplicate a few items, the base glitch is very quick and easy to do, so give it a shot in your own game. Make sure to subscribe if you found this video helpful, and check out some of these other glitch videos for Tears of the Kingdom.